He's literally right there. He's just staring at us. Just staring at us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what nah, are you fucking I love doing? him, really. Are you talking about me? Hello, guys. Welcome back to the best podcast in the world. I don't give a fuck how many other podcasts there. We are actually the best. We are the best. Three skins for life. Joe Rogan. <laughs> Go on, name another podcast there, Greg. Uh, that history guy. Who? I don't know, he's some history guy. Dan Carlin. Dan yeah, Carlin. Yeah, yeah. I hear about him a lot. Yeah. I don't know any other podcasts, don't really care. Um, we are the best. Because how can you be better than us? Who else can go from, you know, talking about a turd in your stomach that talks to <laughs> important political issues? When have we ever done that? I was going to say, well, I don't think we've ever crossed important political issues. Okay. I don't think we've ever done anything Okay, we, we, we do shit on politicians at least. That's important. Yeah, we shit on everyone. Yeah, that's true. That's because everyone's below us and because we are the best podcast. Everyone's below us, we shit on you. So, right at the bat, I'm going to have to say we're in a different room today. The other room is being raised. It might sound decorated. a bit echoey, might sound a bit shit, might yeah. look shit. Um, this is all we can do for today, so if you don't like it, fuck off. We do apologise. It won't be like this forever. Don't you it's worry. literally just for today. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, the big problem with this room is there's two. One is very hot. It is so hot even Greg's warm. It's 30.5 degrees according to the, the thermostat there. That's and Celsius. I wish we had aircon, but we don't live in America. We don't have aircon. Uh, no. It, it, it only gets hot like three weeks in the year. I can try and put that on if it works. But it's a hot day today. And this is like literally a no. greenhouse. What did you say? You could do what? I said but I could put that fan on and see if it works. If it doesn't get picked up on the mic. Uh... Do you, Do you want to take that risk? Do you want to take that risk? Do you want to take that risk? Well, you're you're the one hearing it, so you'll be able to tell. Oh God, it's so bright in here. Yeah, oh, but nice you got sunglasses. Look. You got sunglasses. Yeah, you're fine, man. Yeah. The hottest guy in the world is just being like. Look, look there's some cows. And if they're moving this way, all right, you might get like lucky. It's for a magnifying glass. I feel like I'm gonna die. It's literally only on your face. The rest of you is in the shade. Nah, here you go. Here's a, here's a, here's a new challenge I've created. Eyes, of, eyes in the sun challenge. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing shit like that. That's dumb. <laughs> That's, That's very dumb. dumb. That's, That's stupid. stupid. Okay, right. so, um, yeah, should we go quickly straight? Oh, no, number two as well. It's the hottest room in the world right now. Number two. We live near an airfield, and in this room, we've had to have the window open slightly. Even when it's not open, you're going to hear... It's like fucking that's... Dunkirk out of our, yeah, outside of our house. That's cool. They actually filmed Dunkirk not that far. <laughs> yeah, they did. They did film Dunkirk. Oh wow. Anyway, anyway, the um, yeah, and also it's like a, a tomb. It, it echoes a lot. Mm. So, so we do a three bad things. But anyway, we're going to get into a boring topic, so it doesn't matter anyway. So you can skip this one. Mm. Not really. We're going to be talking about cryptids. <gasps> Cryptozoology, all that sort of cool stuff. And if you don't know what that is, it's it's not to do with online currency. <laughs> no, it's, um... no, no. <laughs> but we should make a cryptid coin. A the cryptid, cryptid coin. coin. They've probably already made one. Bigfoot right? coin. Bigfoot coin. Yeah, like the bigger the the bigger the cryptid, the, like the more expensive it is. Do you know what I mean? It starts <laughs> off with something shit. Loch Ness monster. <laughs> yeah. Loch Ness monster. God damn. God damn Loch Ness monster. So yeah. Uh, Oh, this is a, this is from Wiki. It says this uh, Wiki article. This is a list of cryptids, which are animals that cryptozoologists believes may exist somewhere in the wild, but are not believed to exist by mainstream science. Crypto- mainstream science trying to ruin everybody's fun. Bloody fucking mainstream it's, science. Uh, cryptozoology basically it's primarily looks at anecdotal stories, which is just like oh, I saw. Like Greg seeing I, his yeah I saw I saw a forest I, saw, I saw a forest spirit hundred um, percent. Other claims are rejected by the scientific community. Uh, biologists regularly identify new species following established scientific methodology, but cryptozoologists focus on entities mentioned in folklore record and rumor. So are these are rumored animals, guys. Rumored animals. Yeah, yeah but like. You, uh, the, the issue I have with anecdotal evidence and just, like, going on people's stories is that people are so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> they're just idiots. And they're also liars. And they're just... Mm-hmm. 
people are just assholes. I'd say like 80% of people are just straight up terrible people. Yeah, and that we're all part of that. And we yeah. are part of I would sit there and make shit up to... <laughs> so, okay, imagine some like like Nerdenstein guy who's like, I'm a creature if you like it. What have you seen? I'll be there like, yeah, I've seen loads of stuff. I've seen big <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling him all the lies I can just to watch him like, oh wow, this is great evidence for my... <laughs> they believe you as well. Yeah, they? exactly. Yeah. They, don't know, they don't have a lie detector. They don't know if I'm telling the truth. Yeah, even I'm just bullshit. Rubbish. Yeah. I can't see this for shit. Hang on. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to swap? And you sit here, and I'll sit there. That's okay. You sure? Yeah, I'll live. All right. Will he? But thank live? you for the. Thank you. For Will that. he live? Because I'm shorter than you, in it, so I wouldn't even. I don't think I'd be in the. Same yeah, go on then. Swap. You want to swap? Yeah. Go on, chop, 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 swap, swap. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Carrying on. Oh God, that's someone called Bear. Um, so, have you guys heard of any cryptids? Can you think of any Bigfoot, off the top of your head? Loch Ness Monster, uh, Mothman. Mothman! I heard of a weird one the other day in Scotland, not the Loch Ness Monster. I think it was called, like, the Grey Man or something. And people see it in a specific area of, like, the Highlands or some shit. Are you it? sure it isn't that grey guy who's, like, crawling on the floor all the time? <laughs> It wasn't necessarily... The cat man. The, the cat, man. cat man. It might have been the cat man. No, people have said like he's supposed to be like over 10 foot tall. He's like a big grey foot or some shit. Yeah. Could be Harry on his holidays in Scotland. Dude, right? I wish we could film some sort of cryptozoology thing for a video. It'd be so good. Yeah. You'd you'd make a great Yeti. Yeah. My uh, my mum and sister, they say I walk like Bigfoot. You know that, that famous Bigfoot thing where he's walking like this and mm. turns to the side. Knuckle dragging. Apparently that's what I walk like. I think I've had one side. Uh, Ogopogo? Oh, okay. Ogopogo. They're going into like the myth. Uh, I used forms. to be really interested in all this shit. Uh, no Ogopogo is basically, um, it's sort of like a Loch Ness monster. They all have, I didn't research into this ter- like amazingly, but there are, they have, there's different categories of these. There's like humanoid ones, there's like serpent ones. There's like loads of different ones. And they all seem to be collectively like, say there'd be like a lake up in Scotland and there'd be a lake in the Middle East. Why do they say Middle East? There's no water there. Um, I think a, a lake in Japan and they both see the same shit. Yeah. It's just weird. And their stories have been going forever. It is weird. I don't believe in any of it, but it is. You can't deny that it is weird. I think a lot of. Why is it the same stuff? Yeah, I. I... Abominable <laughs> snowman and the yay, and uh, uh, not yay Bigfoot. It's just big hairy dude. He's <laughs> walking <laughs> around the world, man. Yeah, man Sam from um, Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, man. <laughs> Goddamn, Sam living in a cave. Okay, so I'm gonna th- read out. What, what time are we on? Quickly. Yeah, like eight minutes. So. Bigfoot, yeah, a chupacabra. Oh, uh, yeah, one. yeah. The dog cat that, thing. Uh, the Jersey Devil, Loch Ness Monster. And, yeah, those are the big famous ones. But I'm going to teach you about some ones that aren't so famous. Mm. That's what we do here at the Freesians. We drop drop the knowledge. We just find the crappiest ones we can. <laughs> Chuck them out, yeah. Well, okay, I'm going to start with the Kraken. Now, I, everyone might have heard of Kraken. But the uh, it is a crypto oh god cryptozoologist thingy majiggy. Um, you know what it is, right? It's like a huge Big squid. Yeah, I've seen parts. Huge. Of oh yeah. I'm I'm well. And you drunk a whole bottle of Kraken once. Yeah. <laughs> we watched that Pretty video much. the other day on stream. Did you? Yeah. That was far too. M- I couldn't do that now, let alone when I was like. 17 however <laughs> old I was in that video fucking yeah brutal. you were mangled I was ruined Absolutely so wrecked. this uh, this huge sea monster is said to have wiped out entire fleets of ships but it is now oh, believed which to ships have... fleets of you yeah, know like the, the Spanish Armada and all that kind of yeah, crap yeah but when Where's the ships who said that Where's the I, evidence in any of this? That's in my this? point. Is that that's bullshit? There's no way it's wiped out fleets of shit because it probably don't even fucking exist. Who's saying this shit? Is it's this like some fucking ancient alien Wait. guy with his hair all crazy? Like, uh, <laughs> what yeah. if it was a? Yeah, nice no story, Mikey. But how did it? How did it? Ah, oh, fucking! No, I can't even talk. This heat is just mental and fucking me up. 
All right, go. Whatever you need to say. <laughs> what? You're in the middle of doing a up. Goonies bit. Yeah, Goonies. You know uh, the bit where he's like, yeah, that's what I said to my dad. He said that someone must have got out. Yeah, 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 I know. I know what you're doing. I know what you're playing at. No one wants to finish it off, then. Yeah, no, partly because I don't. Actually I don't remember even the remember. Specifics yeah, of it. But yeah uh, I read at the end here is now believed to have been a colossal, colossal squid. The That's whole what time. I was going to say. And the old sailors were just telling porky motherfucking pies. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because we know that there's colossal squid and they're big motherfuckers, but. They're not, like, eating the whole entire fleet what's, of ships. What, do they come to, like, the surface level a lot? As yeah, well, but... Colossal yeah, they do Don't they, like, stay really... They usually stay deep in the water, but they do come up sometimes. What I find weird about that is we never saw evidence of them. They've been... People have been talking about them for years as the Kraken, but we've never even, like, had them on camera to recently. Do they, do they have, like, cycles of times where they, they're more... Active. Yeah. Well, usually they do come to the like surface, like but they go. They, they come up to the surface at night. Yeah. So if they come up during the surface of day, it's usually because there's something wrong with them. They're like dying or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. That would make sense though. Like if, because I mean, I imagine on a ship back then there wouldn't have been a lot of light. So if you were in pitch black in the middle of the ocean, so and that thing come out, yeah. attacked yeah. you, you would think it was some mental. That's Monster. true. Because you can't see it properly. Like you just yeah. see a fucking massive tentacle, and you're like, Fuck. you just see a twenty oh, foot tentacle no, I, come over the guys, side. Guys, yeah. I think I know why this has happened. So, in like back in the day, yeah, if you accidentally sunk a ship and survived, they'd probably cut your head off for sinking the ship. Why don't you just be like, oh, there's a big fucking big, big monster thing? There's a and monster from the yeah, back. that's true. A crustacean. It, it's like yeah, you you drank too much rum, you crashed into a rock. You're like, oh, if we tell them that, <laughs> I'm, ne- I'm never going to be allowed to fucking that's, sail my ship again. That's true. See, yeah, that's true. See, uh, that. yeah, that's yeah but that's what point, I mean. Man. Is that so much of this shit is just people? Old fucking day, man. He's 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 done five ships this year. <laughs> All the cracking. What's the cracking keeps coming for him? <laughs> cracking loves this guy. Yeah, Kraken's got out what's the from? deal? All right, boys. Yeah, next yeah. one is he be cursed. The Megaconda. The Megaconda. Is now imagine a... an Anaconda. I was going to say. Is so it's basically the, the Anaconda film. Yeah. But bigger. In fact, they uh, used to have something called Titan Boa, which mm. you know about quite yeah. well. Because it's man, they explain were pretty it. big. It's just a giant fucking snake. Well, Megaconda. Put a pair lift, Megacon- What is the biggest snake in the world? Anaconda. It is an Anaconda. Yeah, yeah they're okay. massive, man. They're like 30 feet or something. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. But this one, the Megaconda, is said to have grown up to 300 feet. What? Yeah, but where is it? What? what? How who, would you miss that? Okay, who the fuck is measuring this motherfucker? I don't know. Because yeah. <laughs> <right. laughs> if you can measure it, if you can measure it, let's be honest, you've caught one that's dead. Because it's going to kill you if you're trying to measure it when it's alive. Mm. So quite clearly, <laughs> if if you have measured it, then it's you found it dead and you could have taken it to a museum. You solved it. I've, I've solved the case. I think this is another case of porky pies. I don't know about that. That's not necessarily true. Because, like, I mean, I don't believe it. But if you did find that in the middle of the... I don't know where this thing lives, in the jungle or some shit. How are you dragging... How big did you say it was? 300 feet. How are you dragging a 300 foot snake back to the nearest village? You get the fuck Boys, look what I fucking yeah, found. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just to help you out, man. Because no, like, but have you seen those those pictures of like the biggest anaconda ever and it's like 30 people have to carry it? Yeah, yeah. Imagine true. a 300 foot one. You'd need like two towns. True, true. Could... You grab the head and I'll okay, grab the, fair enough. the rest of it. Take a picture. Well, oh, okay. Tribesman. Go get your, okay, get your it, fucking cannon out, mate. Okay, okay, fair enough. If it's tribes people, <laughs> if it's tribes people's town, in these stories. It's from the Amazon. Did I not mention that? Have you seen that crazy video of the um? I don't know where it is. Some like homeless guy being like half eaten by a snake. <laughs> no, you seen that? No. Uh, like the camera just pans around a corner and it's just gone on the floor like waist deep in a snake. What? Like, yeah, it's mad. Is it real? I think so, yeah. Jesus. That's He's like really asleep good. or whatever, and this thing just swallowed Why are they him. filming him? Because they, they go from the legs first, don't they, I think, snakes. I think. Yeah, but why are they filming him and not helping him? Fuck knows. Hey, mate, wake up. Wake <laughs> up. You're being eaten by a snake. Huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Hang on, yeah. Snapchat. Before I wake him, yeah. All right, so I've got another one called uh, Mokeli Mbebe. 
Mkele Mbebe. Mkele Mbebe. But I, I didn't is... actually look into that one, I just like the name. So I guess it's from Africa. <laughs> That's, yeah. I have no idea. I would assume so. So you don't know, you just have the name of it? Yeah. You don't have any information? No, I just saw the name and I was like, I prefer the name, I don't care what it is. Okay, mm. so the next one is from a what culture article called the Mapping Goari. Yeah. Okay. I bet that's how it's pronounced. So it, it's a monster from Brazilian folklore that is said to have lived in the Amazon rainforest. Quite like the Megan. Megaconda. The Megan Conda. Megan Conda. Megan. Uh, its name means a thing that has a bent foot. Okay. Huh? I'm interested. It has, <laughs> it has one eye in the centre of this forehead. Okay. Like a Cyclops. And the creature is again. From Brazil. But what, what's this bent foot thing? Has it got bent feet? Well, mapping goari means, word for word, a thing that has a bent foot. Okay. But like, what sort of thing It didn't say it? in the article if it, it did actually foot? have a bent foot. Oh, is okay. it like a kind of humanoid? Is it literally just a cyclops with club foot? I saw a picture of it and it looked like a hairy cyclops. What if it's just like some guy just had a birth deformity and people just been bullying him and turning him into him. him. It sounds too specific, yeah. A hairy Bigfoot man with a wonky foot and an eye in the middle of his head. I don't know. It does literally just sound like someone saw some very unfortunate man. No, yeah, it, it just... sounds to me like you hit the DNA mother load. <laughs> DNA. Yeah, why well, not? Talking about DNA, um, me and Greg, this is a bit Oh, of you a said segue. DNA? Yeah. I thought you said TNA. No. I was like, yeah, they would lap that shit up. <laughs> DNA. Uh, me and Greg watched the new James Bond the other day. We went. We were invited to the Southampton pre- premiere. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, I wasn't. How was it? Uh, okay. It was pretty James Bondy. <laughs> there was that bit, you know. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, oh, that bit. Da, yeah, yeah, I know. That's that all bit. that shit. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm not a big James Bond fan though, so Neither like I. I thought I was just like watching it. There's a bit of grown bits, some cool stuff, hot chicks as always. You know, we you know, found the bits. funniest bit in there. There was those so many bits where it, it was trying to be funny. The one. the James Bond way, and you're just like, oh, shut up, you're better. <laughs> yeah. But there was a funny bit where some guy goes like, he either goes, ah, oh, my leg, like in the yeah. background, or oh, and, and me and Matt were like the only ones laughing. Yeah, like, we burst out laughing. It perfectly hit our sort of humour. It was right. <laughs> It was, but it was funny is I swear in Austin Powers there's a bit where he's like my leg's broken oh like I will try and stand on the other leg we'll, yeah, yeah we'll fail yeah. at the bottom yeah, of the yeah. cliff <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah oh no now that leg's broken too <laughs> <laughs> it was okay I mean uh, yeah, it's just yeah. James Bond it's just if you want to if you want to go see a James Bond film it's just right there for you that's it <laughs> that's what I can say it, yeah it, it, it's good yeah it's good trouble yeah. is we were it's saying not awful the, yeah we it's were saying in the car it's lost a lot of it's like not campiness but I don't know like what kind of made James Bond because I feel now yeah, like, like if you're going to watch James Bond it is just a sort of like terroristy action film and there's probably better ones out there uh-huh. so, I do John not Wick like I do not like people on this planet I'm going to get rid of them yeah oh are you yes okay because it right. doesn't, it doesn't have to be as campy as it was in like the fucking seventies, mm. but like say even the Pierce Brosnan ones, like 10, 15 years ago or whatever, even they were like they had that kind of they were different than all you the other. You could say the things. same thing about Batman. Batman. You know, you probably could. Everything the, was campier the, in the, the 60s first four and Batman 70s. movies are pretty campy. No. Yeah. yeah, the TV <laughs> show is pretty campy. Yeah, they're fucking bat nipples. There was a Batman yeah, suit with nipples. Okay, look, look. I just I, feel okay. like they could make it a little bit but, more no, but are you, interesting. Are you trying like, to tell me that the Dark Knight trilogy isn't very good? No, Batman Forever that? is the best Batman film. Everyone no. knows that. No, it's the best Batman film. Batman now, I've made, there's so many reasons why. And number one is that it doesn't take itself seriously. It's a campy, stupid film. It's so bad. If, but it, it's good. No, no. But if you say that... Dark Knight's all like... <laughs> Oh, I'm an unstoppable force. Look at me. <laughs> I'm going to take some I swear to God. Swear to me. You know, okay, I do like... Dark Knight is the best Batman film. Fair enough. But 
Batman Forever and Batman and Robin get so much unnecessary hate. They do. And it pisses so me off. And that's why I say Batman Forever is the best one because that is the one where George Clooney. Me off that people don't George like Clooney, yeah, and he's bidding on uh, is a poison ivy, and he's got a back credit Fucking card. Fucking back credit card. <laughs> <laughs> and he and he pulls it out and he goes. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> we that should watch cool. these crap movies yeah we said about that didn't we We yeah but they're they're, who'd like to see us do movies who'd like to fucking edit it not me the way I see it it's like you know like how like Star Wars prequels people love them now because they're just stupid and funny Mm. yeah same, I, have a di- with, uh, I have a deeper appreciation for the prequels yeah. now after watching the new trilogy. Same after the, um, me, that shit. the, the Spider-Man films. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah like, Put but, the money but in why the bag. hasn't that happened to the Batman films? Because those Batman films are just gold mines for stupid, ridiculous, terrible quotes. And it's just hilarious. Have you heard the story of it? Because it's got Tommy Lee Jones and, um, and yeah, Jim Carrey in yeah, it, isn't it? Have you heard the story about them on... Um, yeah, they filmed that. that they hated each other. Yeah, he met him in a restaurant or whatever, and like he was like, "I, I hate you." <laughs> said it I would do that to you though, Lewis. Yeah, I'd do that if I was because <laughs> that's a great way of creating a little bit of tension for, your, so. for your roles. I think he just genuinely did hate Jim Carrey, though, to be honest. I, I mean, Jim Carrey Jim seems Carrey. nah, but he seems like an intense person. Yeah. Have you seen that interview he did on like a red carpet? I don't know if it was like Met Gala or it was like a few years ago. Oh, we had a red carpet last night. Yeah, we did uh-huh. on the red carpet. <laughs> Check your email. We even got time. we even got ourselves posing yeah, like I saw this. that picture. Yeah. How fucking how sad. <laughs> what? How sad. It was pretty sad, but <laughs> you have to do it when you're at the fucking yeah, James yeah, Bond yeah, premiere. Yeah, you have to do got it. Him, it. I even went in a bow tie that was the Union Jack. Good God! I know. I just, I just had a flowery shirt, and that's it. There we go. Yeah, that's I'll amazing. put it up on the screen. Put it up whoever on the screen. Ends, it is that that one and that one. I didn't see that one. On the red nice. carpet, bro. Red carpet. Yeah, not, it was... not quite Leicester Square. No, I know, I know. Yeah, it was, it was yeah, like yeah. a piss. Still looks good. Half, we did our pe- best. half the people that were there were like in like truckies and stuff, though. And I was like, fuck's sake, I've worn a shirt for the first time in like three years and I'm yeah, dying to the, the invite says, like, dress smart. But like, there was like crap, there was at least one guy that was quite clearly like a heroin addict. On just, the red carpet? No, well, it's not a red carpet. They have like No, a but you know what I mean. Carpet. Yeah, no, but he wasn't. They he, invited a crackhead. Yeah, but the thing is, is that a lot of it was like NHS workers and stuff. I imagine he was just a crackhead that worked for the NHS. <laughs> But crackheads can work for the NHS. They can't do anything. Dude, the amount of nurses like fucked up on heroin at the moment because you know everyone's getting fucked up on heroin. It's a big crisis. Tap them up, boys. It's a big crisis. <coughs> Especially How do you think I lost weight. Yeah. Anyway, so Greg, this one you would have heard of the next one. It's the Mongolian Death. Hey, this is actually my favorite. Which cryptid. does sound like something from Urban Dictionary, doesn't it? Yeah. It the, does. the reason I like it is, I like, the idea of it is essentially, it's a, it's a giant worm that lives underground. It's just cool. It, it, it's like from Dune. The, Send the, it to uh, me a bit the, more. The Dune films. You know, not films, the books. How big are we talking? Uh, the, it, it varies. Some people say like this big, some people like say from like here, all the way to the end of the garden. It, it's, it's one of those things, but one thing that they did say is that I, I, I was reading in depth in this, because I've watched like, documentaries on it because it's such a cool idea, but it's also being ruined in some sense because they showed some locals a snake that was from near the local area and they're like, oh, that's the death worm. And then it's just like, because to them... Yeah, that's it. Because to, to them, because the, 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 the idea of a worm and a snake being different things... Is yeah. basically based on modern science. Like back, you feel like some guy doesn't know anything about modern science. He's like worm, it's yeah. a long thing and fucking Big snakes. And long, are, and yeah, it, yeah, it's worm, a head and a neck. Snake. Yeah, it. and it's sort of like ruined like the mystique of it. I, I mean, obviously, maybe they were just wrong. Maybe there is actually a death worm. I wish there was, but there probably isn't. It's probably just locals calling a snake a worm. But then again, though, like if if they say it comes from underground or whatever, that can't just be like. Oh, it can't be made up, but if this is if we're talking, this is real. Do you know what I mean? Someone must have seen it unearth itself. And as yeah. far as I'm aware, yeah. the snakes, snakes, yeah, snakes, snakes don't do that. Don't you do got, that, you do got a good point. And also, apparently, it has like electric shoot electricity or something. Okay, now we're getting a bit fucking. <laughs> shoot yeah, see, Greg, knows, Greg knows a little bit about the Mongolian death yeah, worm. Man, That's man. why I've written here Mongolian death worm. Let Greg talk about it. Yeah. 
Uh, the, I like, I like it, basically, it's a huge worm that lives in the, the sand in certain Middle red, Eastern well, countries. And other thing is that they say it's red, but the snake that they show people was brown. So maybe mm. that's another argument against that theory. Uh, and it also says here that they can eat a human whole. Yeah, I mean, does it have teeth? Snakes can eat humans whole. We already addressed that. <laughs> I'll see if I can find the video. It's such an old video. It's filmed on like a fucking Freaky. flip phone or yeah. something. Yeah, it's terrible. It's all just pixels, but yeah, man. So the next one is one that. Imagine uh, that. Imagine dying like that, being eaten. Yeah, by no, imagine you just, just sleep and then you wake up and it's like it's too late and you're just like, oh, no. <laughs> and your arms are by yeah. your side and you're just like yeah. wriggling. What and would you do? What, what, if, what <laughs> it'd be funny if you woke up and you were in complete darkness, not knowing what was going on. Uh, what I don't remember falling asleep in a sleeping bag. <laughs> I think that's yeah. that, that's a good. I think you should always have. Like slightly long nails, just in case. Because imagine you're stuck there. Dude, I could fight you my dig way your out nails in, and you, you just cut. I think what I would through. do is like try and separate my legs as far. Do you know what I mean? So mm. I just rip the fucking thing open. I think I would try that. But then again, yeah. they they stretch like. Do you know what I mean? If nah, you swallow I a think, person. Nah, but if you can like aim for their ribs or something, maybe snap their ribs open, snap the spine. Do they have ribs? Yeah, they got ribs. Yeah. They got ribs and the spine. Ribs. Yeah, yeah, ribs and the spine. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because yeah. they're not worms. They're snakes. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just didn't know the intricate details. My Mongolian friend. I only know because of the eyewitness on snakes. <laughs> Should we go to the next one then, boys? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Let us know your favourite cryptid in, in the comments. This one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, this one, uh, we've spoken about before. It's the Beast of Bodmin. Mm. It's basically just a huge cat. The, the saying is, is it's a huge jaguar that has escaped from mm. one of the zoos in the local area. It's from Bodmin and Exmoor. There's two yeah. beasts yeah, but It's, of... it's the been about... a thing for ages, yeah, but the... though, hasn't it? Well, so, like, the, the how long is a jaguar? The idea it? of um, big cats in the wild in the UK has been like around since like, the Victorian era. Mm. And it's hard to really... Just like of them going missing, Greg. Yeah, uh, well, the, 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 the idea, especially back in the Victorian times, is that back then you could keep shit like that as pet. And that escape from someone's back garden was like a real thing that would have happened. Yeah. But nowadays, it has to escape from a zoo. That's like a big media thing. There you are um, there are wild cats as well. I'm sure in like um, Scotland. Yeah, well, Scotland right? has sure. wild cats. Um, we used to have lynxes, but lynxes do not look like black panthers. They look like lynxes. They got mm. fucking big old tufts on their ears, and they look like snow leopards, don't they? No. So. If you see some black panther from Africa. In the movie, yeah. Well, there's um, definitely so links you... Africa. <laughs> oh god, that's terrible. That was that's so bad. The um, come on, I don't know. If oh, like... It's the heat. Where, it's where, the heat. Where are Panthers from? Are they? I thought they're South American, aren't they? Africa. They can't be. I, I don't know. No, but that's what I mean. Is that why is Black Panther called? That's just my answer. To Black everything. Panther when that's South America. They're thing. not from Africa, though, aren't they? Aren't they from some made up? Not link. I mean, in in the film, I haven't seen black. No, they're Africa. from Africa, but, but they're from a country in Africa, like a fake one. Oh, like I haven't seen it. I, it's Timbuktu. called like Wakanda or something. Yeah, isn't it? Wakanda. I thought it was yeah. like some different planet or some shit. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I don't. Dude, really it, do it might as well movies. be because the way how stupid Marvel films are, it, it doesn't doesn't make any sense. See, my it? thing for these big cat thing, yeah. Why don't you just leave a big mound of food in the middle? And a camera, big, it, big we, pile of cat food. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. We should do that for a video. Oh no, you can get black leopards in Kenya, apparently. Okay, cool. Was, well, maybe they're getting on boats as stowaways and then just coming off at Bobman. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I like the idea of, like, obviously, like a big cat. It reminds me a lot of, you know, the, the old Sherlock Holmes book about like the fucking hound, hounds of Baskerville. Hounds yeah. of Baskerville. I, the idea of like. A sort of anything that's more interesting than the local wildlife in England is just fu- fun, it's isn't it? Just, because English wildlife have, like, is squirrels, foxes, squirrels, badgers, pheasants. Yeah. pheasants, everything else we made extinct. Bears extinct, wolves extinct, lynx is extinct. We just killed everything we could in this. In this. Come on, get some more cryptos out for us. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I uh, left enough for two. Black. Yeah. The okay. The idea of this Bobman. Panther thing is cool, but I mean, you'd think it'd be easy to catch. You just put some fucking. Catch. You just put some meat out for it. That's why this is and, literally yeah, what I said. Yeah, but another thing is England is so fucking small. I don't see how something that big could hide 
in England. And yeah. also, why would it stay? But, but the in, biggest like, woods corners. we have is like like a small acre of woodland. That is like. There's just nowhere for them to yeah, hide. Yeah, surely someone would have just, it would have been yeah. someone's fucking back garden. Maybe up north, yeah. Like up north, they still have some relatively large forests up there, because mm. especially Scotland. I could yeah. see something like that hiding up there, but down in fucking Bodmin, no, Greg, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Greg, the problem with you saying that is one of our family members took a picture of the beast of Bodmin. <gasps> I'm not saying they're a liar. So I'm just saying shitting, I don't really trust that shit, man. Are you shitting on a, one of our family members? I don't really give a shit, man. I shit, <laughs> I shit on you all the time. So, <laughs> yeah, I think it, I think it's, a, it's all just. It's a nice very, like, It just sounds very touristy. It's fun. It's fun. It, it, the, I, the annoying thing about cryptos is it's such a cool idea, but mm. it's like. Just because it's a cool idea don't make it true. No. You know? Just because you want well, something are, to be true. There yeah. actually are a few times where cryptids have become real. That's true. That's true. Quite a few of them, actually. Cedar Camp. Well, the Kraken, essentially. Kraken. Cedar. Cedar, Cedar Camp. Cedar Camp. This is what they didn't ha- they'd never taken a picture of it. Yeah. And then it came out, what, like 150 years later or something? I used to watch a yeah. show called like um, essentially I think it was called River Monsters or something. Ah oh, yeah, River Monsters. Yeah, have you man. seen that? Yeah, fucking. Yeah, but love that's what that he would do. Like he would look at like yeah. old pictures and paintings mm. of like some horrible thing that local people would swear that they'd seen. It was like you know a big fucking like eel thing with mm. and he'd be like, I'm not really sure what that. He'd go like, it kind of looks like this or this, and then he would go to that area, find it, and be like, yeah, because it looks like the painting. It's you know it's one of these. So. I guess yeah. a lot of them, it's not just, sometimes they're Jeremy not just, Wade. Com- that's it, yeah. Sometimes yeah, they're not Jeremy just completely Wade. made up. Like sometimes, yeah, like you say, p- people will see something and be like, I've never fucking seen that before. And it's massive. What, I can't take a picture of it because the cameras haven't been invented. Mm. I'm just going to paint that and tell people what the fuck I saw. Like That's true. That's yeah. true. I think we should all paint our own cryptids and then make them a real life. <laughs> How do you make a real life cryptid? I don't know. <laughs> We've got loads of pubic hair. That would be a great idea for like a video though. It'd be like a long haul one. Like one of us has to go to some woods somewhere. Do you know what I mean? And walk around as some monster <laughs> and get people to take pictures. You'd be like, do you know oh, what I mean? I definitely saw that. Yeah. No, 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 what we need to do yeah, is we need to do it in a, on a roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> the beast, the beast of so and so roundabout. Roundabout beast. Like, roundabout beast. Big massive holes. The and people are like, you must be getting jumped must have into these holes. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Must be in his it has to be a roundabout, and do you know why? Because you can't really stop on one. That's true. No one can ever really prove it wrong, can they? They can only take photos, and then it would be dangerous. Yeah, it's a clever idea. Ah, uh, it's the a roundabout. Terrible, it's a pretty bad idea. No, yeah. well, okay. Where would I go then? You don't. It, it just wouldn't work. No, no. If I wanted to fake a new Bigfoot, go to America. They believe anything. <laughs> Yeah. that's true it that is, is true. funny how all UFO happenings only happen in the deep south of America I mean they do like happen aliens like, come do down and they're like where should we go you get some cool ones in England there. like that forest Rendlesham thing. Forest yeah that was pretty cool that, we need to go there for a video anyway really? I've got a couple more of these boys it's funny though how it doesn't Trek happen in like in. third world places though where like they've never do you know what oh, I mean you, they don't know about you haven't actually. seen ancient aliens mate Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we should sit and watch Ancient Aliens. Okay, according to Ancient Aliens, it happens in every tribe of everything, yeah. of anything, of ever. Right. Okay, so there's another one, guys. You know he said about the Loch Ness Monster? Goddamn Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> this one's called Champy. <laughs> Champy? Champy. He sounds adorable. Ah, oh, it's like Chansey from Pokemon. Chansey. Is he adorable? Well, it's thought to be a plesiosaur. <laughs> a what? A plesiosaur. Okay. Is that how you say yeah, it? Yeah, it's like Loch Ness Monster. Flappy things and a big uh, one. It's in, the, it's in the Lake Sh- Sh- uh, Champlain in America. So you know what I said earlier about uh, they see it up in Scotland, they see it in mm, Japan, yeah. they see one in an African lake, they see one... It's just weird how that, that always works. And it's always a yeah. serpent. Yeah, well, the issue... Why? Is, is, the issue especially with... Why, Greg? The, the issue with things with like Loch Ness Monster and any anything that's sort of like a you know like a prehistoric dinosaur that survived to the modern day is that we're, we're looking at like a 65 million year fossil gap where they've somehow survived but they haven't left any trace and that, not, not to say that that can't happen alright that can happen 
A cedar, cedar camp is a good example. Brilliant. What if there's a, a, a group of scientists that find all these things but then deny it? Because... Now, that, that is a big thing that you get, especially in conspiracy theory circles, is that there's some sort of, like, conspiracy. Like, like the scientists, all, the don't scientists are, know about. all these scientists are, like, evil and they work for the Illuminati or some dumb shit. I, I mean, I'm not saying that that can't be true, but, like... Th- it's like it's like for example the moon landings being fake. Okay, it's like you you're telling me that you, we're, we're talking like a million people involved in it. You know, like hundreds of thousands of workers. Even if it's ten thousand people. Even mm. if it's do you know how hard people. do you know how hard it is to keep a secret? It's fucking difficult. <laughs> All right, dude. Like you, someone must have said tell me a secret yeah. you've never told me. Oh, I don't even know, mate. I've told all my secrets on the podcast by now. No, mm-hmm. tell me a secret that you've tried to keep from me, like something you've done that would have pissed me off, but I've never found out. Oh, that's interesting. I yeah. honestly don't know. I, I couldn't even sit and think of one. <laughs> You're always pissed off, so it doesn't matter what I say. <laughs> I'm not always pissed off. It is always pissed off. I can be. It's normally when it comes to like setting up stuff. Yeah, because he's got little I, bitch ankles. I and can't find wine, anything in it. Hurts. I am fucking... Baking. Dude, it's 32 degrees. It's gone up 2 degrees. Even since you guys are hot. That's crazy. So, yeah, why Jesus. why, why is there literally like 500 serpents around? Like, uh, every lake yeah. has one. Yeah, I, I think that, like, if, if we're talking about... If we're talking about, like, what could possibly be some sort of species that hasn't been found yet, 100% it would be something that exists in the ocean. I don't... Yeah. Ne- but not necessarily lakes, because lakes are big, but they're not fucking ocean big. No. Uh, but the, obviously the big problem with sea serpents, especially in the ocean, is that there's a lot of things that look like sea serpents that aren't sea serpents. Dude, I've seen some eels, man. Woo! Yeah. And what is the, um, what's it, like a dragonfish or something like yeah. that? Yeah. They're fucking super long and silvery and shiny. They're cool. But, Never yeah. heard of that. Oh, you need to see a picture of it, the way fish. The way I see cryptids, and the way I see pretty much anything, is at the end of the day, it's a cool idea if it exists, I'm not saying they don't, but until, like, you show me, like, a full-on dead body of one that's yeah. been studied, I'm not going to go out of my way to say I believe in it, mm. you know what I mean? I'll wait. I don't, I, some people are just impatient, it's like, oh, well, I like that, oh, that was so convincing, I believe it now. Yeah. It's just like, can you not just wait and just go, oh, yeah, it's possible. I'll just wait. Mm. I, I don't get it. I don't get this need to believe in everything. I every, guess it's the like, same it's as people crazy. that believe in like conspiracy theories and stuff. Like, yeah. oh, I watched a 20 minute video online of something that I was I totally believe. But mm. now you have convinced me otherwise. It's like, well, there's no like actual proof of it. But like, yeah. you just, yeah, you've been sold it so well. That it's it's it, like, and, want and it like, true. yeah, it might be true. For example, say, take like 9 11 conspiracy. That's probably the biggest one, isn't it? Mm. I, I mean, I, some of the evidence is like, you see it and you're like, well, okay, that, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. But that's not enough. No. It's never enough. You need you need more than that. You can't, you can't so just... So I found something that Greg's talking about, but like, they're much longer than this. They're like that. And they swim about. And they're pretty cool. They look like sardines. Well, mm. I really wanted to swallow a bunch of those. I couldn't find the right fish in this country. I'll get a picture up. So people can see what it is. I guess you could have I'll called it that. something cool, like eating a dragon. <laughs> the, what? Dragon. Dragon. Okay, I've only got like two left, boys. Oh, no. Nice. The next one's in the UK as well. I'm enjoying learning. This creature is called Black Shuck. <laughs> black okay. Chuck or Yeah, not, not Black Shack. <laughs> black Shuck. Black Shuck. 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 Okay, S H U C K. Okay, tell us about Mr. Shuck. He's a creature that lives Shakira. in the UK in East Anglia. Anglia, sorry, Anglia. East Anglia. A cut Anglia. Um, looks, it looks like a huge dog. Okay, so just like the hounds of Baskerville. Very tall. The hound of East Anglia. The thing is, is in 2014 they thought it was a myth. Up until 2014, they discovered dog bones. That were the size of seven feet tall. Now, I don't know. I tried to research whether it meant the back of the dog was seven foot tall off or it stood up seven feet tall. I'm pretty sure it's the first one. Okay. Seven foot? Where's the proof? I, the bones. I don't have right? it on me. Yeah, but, but where bones. are these bones? Uh, who studied them? Who, who's claiming they found these bones? 
Greg, I don't go. Greg, you have never done. What's the name uh, of this? You've never done a. What's the name of this thing? Black Shuck. Black Shuck. I I told you like eight times. I I I don't know, mate. Shakira. So, yeah, Greg's always moaning, like asking me all these questions, and I'm like, I don't know, bro. If he did this, it would literally be the name of a thing. At the end of the day, we don't do anything in depth or with real. (laughs) Research apparently, uh, back I in the would. Day, back I would. The day, they used to think Black Shock was a cyclops. Apparently, I have one eye, old one eye. Yeah, old one eye. I have one old eye, one eye one back big in the day. Red eye. You know, like a deer got two eye. <laughs> they even got one eye, one big apparently, red uh, eye. They think that the the original Black Shock was based on the myth of the Black Hound of Odin. So maybe Odin's real. Black Shock is his dog. Did you find out about the bones, Greg? No, I'm still looking for the bones. Odin had one eye, didn't he? I know in, oh, I in yeah. Thor he had an eye patch on. Yeah, I'm he does have one eye, yeah. That's why his dog has one eye, I guess. Maybe it's maybe maybe he took his own eye out for the blind dog to see. <laughs> That's really, apparently that crazy. Apparently it's really easy to go from like losing sight in one eye to like your brain calibrating the new existence of having to look through one eye. Really? Yeah. What, like, your whole, like, depth perception? Yeah, shit. apparently it's really quick. That's what I heard. It's weird. Isn't it something... It's the same as, like, being upside down as well, isn't it, for a long time as well? I don't know, it? but I do want to do that for a video. See what I'm like. sure I've heard someone say something like that. Like, it's like, if you're upside down, it will, like... Um, you get used... To, and then when you oh, go no, back no, to... No, no, like no, that. yeah, yeah. No, if you wear upside down glasses for, like, a week... Your brain flips it. That's it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the uh, bones the, the bones thing was bogus. Yeah. Apparently, some like bogus. East Anglian Daily Times ran it as like being massive, but the people who actually found it were like, no, it was only uh, two and a half foot tall. <laughs> oh god! Fuck sake. Is it someone? Is it like a doctor who apparently, wrote two? Uh, and like, it would look kind of, <laughs> look like a seven. An, an expert, an expert that looked at it said it was most like the bones of a mastiff. So they are nice. pretty big. Yeah, they're big. Mastiffs so, are big. Yeah. I think certain breeds of mastiffs are um they're illegal in the country, like under the dangerous yeah. dogs thing. But these like well, my mate had a mastiff. Bones were from like sixteen hundred. Fucking big. So, yeah. Like hefty as well, yeah. Like not like a great, da- like a great Dane is like tall, but they're quite skinny. Like this mastiff, yeah. It was like someone had like, it was like a short haired bear. It was fucking. It was like that big, and its head was like, <laughs> it was fucking monstrous. This thing. I had a, a mate whose cat was called Bear because its tail got run over and it had to be cut off because <laughs> it went completely flat. And then he, but he was a really, he was like our cat, you know, Darwin. That yeah. size, but really furry, really thick fur, and he just looked like a bear running around. It was great. Amazing. It was great. Yeah, if Darwin had no tail, he would look like a bear as well, to be honest. I hate that piece of shit cat. He's literally right there. He's just staring at us. Just staring at us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what nah, are you doing? Fucking I love doing? him, really. Are you talking about me? Yeah, his ears are burning, boys. So I've got the last one. We've got Black Shuck, Champy, Beast of Exmoor slash Beast of Bodmin, Kraken. Um, Mongolian Deathworm, Mapinguari. I actually think I got it with that one that time. Megaconda, Mokeli Mbepe. Mbepe. I'll tell you one thing I, I am interested in. Is and the it, last one. Go on. Oh, this is the thing I'm most interested in is what, like, for example, like we said, like Kraken did get found out to be based on something real. Mm. I'm quite interested if there really are things out there we haven't found yet. Because the, the issue with is, is obviously the further we go into the future, with the more we've recorded, the less there is to discover. Mm. So obviously, the, there is probably not that much left to discover, but there probably could be a few big animals that we haven't found yet. It's definitely possible. Do you think there's anything bigger than the blue whale? No, blue whale is the biggest thing ever. A biggest animal. Well, biggest. Yeah, biggest animal. Ever. How big exactly? Are, like roughly, are they? Uh, yeah. He's got the National History Museum. Yeah, the I, I can't oh, even I think I have it. It's the one. It's like on yeah, the ceiling. It, it yeah. co- covers the entire room. Like, yeah, even like from here to those houses over there, it's it's like at least triple that, maybe double, triple. It's fucking. It's, they're fucking huge, man. It's fucking no. ridiculous. The next one, guys. Why don't they just attack? 
things all the time, like because they just easily get, they could just like they swallow mean, a speedboat full of yeah, people. Yeah, but they've they've got Sorry. like they've got like a tiny hole to get things through. Yeah, uh, even though they're that big, it's crazy. All right, boys. Next, uh, next, and last one is called the bun bunyip. Bun 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 bunyip. It's a creature believed by the Australian Aborigines. Aborigines. I'm so fucking boiling hot. It's yeah. frazzled my brain. I can't wait to go outside. I'm yeah, me neither. <clears throat> okay, so it's, it, this one can eat humans. That's what they say. That's what they say. And it looks like a large dog-like thing. However, some sightings have uh, say it looks like a cross between a hippo and a wolf. What? A wolf hippo, a that's whippo, man. Man, that's a large. Yeah, a that, whippo, bro. Have you got a picture? A wolf. I can't. I can't even begin to imagine what that looks like. Yeah. Imagine but a I hippo. Imagine the size of a hippo, but look like a wolf. No, I big can't. fat wolf. Okay, the pictures do not. Yeah, but like, does it have the face of a wolf, <laughs> what the, what or does, does it have the, the face of a like? hippo? They all look quite different to each other, don't they? Yeah, the bunyip. Dude, to be fair, that looks a bit like a thylacine. Have you ever seen a thylacine? Yes. Yeah. The ain- well, thylacines when it's... They thing- were from Australia as well, weren't they? No, thylacines... Uh, wait, yeah. Uh, wait. No. That's why we need to start no, researching wait, yeah. things, boys. Mm. That'll be the day, eh? Yeah. Yeah, they do look like thylacines. Well, Greg called me out earlier. It's quite true. I always say, though, don't believe everything I say. I just very quickly skim stuff i don't mate don't worry if if look, if free skins was my job i would take it seriously <laughs> i think that's the same with so that would take donate, charm away, don't, oh shit we, we had two donations to so remind me to oh, oh, apparently here's a real picture of bunya i mean it doesn't look like a wolf or a hippo <laughs> it looks like a fucking <laughs> it looks like Greg, a ferret send with me that eyes. photo on on whatsapp I don't know if that's real or not. It doesn't look like a wolf or a hippo. It doesn't. Tongue. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's like a little ferret. Well, a big ferret. With but... two big red eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've got one eye. Greg. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, okay, you got it. All right then, boys. So that's that's round one of cryptids. We'll probably do another one in like two years. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, the, the issue of cryptids is it's, it's fun, but it's like, there's no point in believing in it yet. You know what I mean? It's just a bit of fun till then. Mm. No, but I think what's interesting in it, though, is that, like, they all come under that same bracket of cryptid, like, uh, j- but, like, their origins... <laughs> that photo is funny. Sorry. <laughs> it is weird as fuck. But their origins all come from, like, really vast different places. I think, like, yeah, it's like some of them are, like, something that someone saw and they didn't know what it was like colossal squid kraken and yeah. i think other ones on the other end of the spectrum are like you say just tourist shit yeah, yeah. the place we live in is I, boring i think i think what the, can we say stuff to... like the jersey devil especially <clears throat> like it, it just it's it's like they've got like a 10 things from different animals and just put it into this thing and just go oh yeah that's mm. around here come have a look because they know some people out there will be like hey, just you wanna, straight away you, you want to like, buy I'm a jersey buy devil mug yeah you drink your coffee yeah 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 100 yeah, percent but it's uh, not to say that all of them like, are... Well, like one of them, Chupacabra, I actually heard a really cool theory about Chupacabra. There, there's these, um, there's like a, a, a kind of vampire bat from um, Central America. Yeah. That uh, apparently it runs on the floor. It can fly, but it also apparently it sprints on the floor. That's and a lot terrifying. of the way people talk about Chupacabras is apparently they're small, they're really fast, and they jump onto animals and bite them, which is exactly what these vampire bats do. Just saying. Could just be. Could just be. So that's cryptids, fellas. We're waiting till the next one to do even better cryptids. I did save some bangers. Which out of the ones I said was your favourite? Don't say Mongolian Deathworm. You you have to choose another one. The Bunyip. The Bunyip. The picture (laughs) is the the Bunyip. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So um, terrifying. To be fair, out of all places, like that, like Australia's massive. The outback, half the outback's not even been fucking explored, has it? Really? Really? Well, like think about it. It's like, it's just shit, isn't it? You, who fucking wants to go out into the outback? It's fucking shit. Hole. It's That's fucking. True. That's true. <laughs> it's either like the problem with like Australia is it's just harsh, it's harsh places. Yeah. Different. Like, God, out... if we're hot in here. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. What is it? It looks like it says thirty-seven degrees Celsius. <laughs> no, it was thirty-two. It's gone down to thirty-one though. I feel hotter now than I did in that fucking car. 
Really? No. I've cooled down a little bit now, midway through that podcast. You get, you get used dying. to it. You get used to it. Unless so you're we've got two people to shout out who've donated very kindly in the link below the tip jar. You click the tip jar, you donate to us. Uh, Perry um, from Texas, he said uh, something about giving us a tip. I don't have it word for word because you, you, when you send something on PayPal, you can write a little text. Hmm. So... Thank you, Perry, for So if that. you do want to go on to the tip jar link in the description and donate yeah, something Perry, to us and write a little message, we will read your messages out on the podcast. Tell us your you best Texas, Texas cryptid. Yeah. I want to know. <laughs> so next one's from Jason. I don't want to say your full names because I don't know if you get funny about that or not. But Jason, uh, get corporate Greg some of his wine so we can get Gerg Sagan back. Love it, lads. Cheers. Oh, oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Gerg Sagan, I forgot about that. Yeah. That was fun. There are so many old features that we did on the other... Like, I, I still like get to quite a lot of people anyway. saying, saying that they quite like the uh, the original Christmas thing I did. Yeah. I still get people mentioning yeah. that. Yeah. It was great. Bit long-winded. Very long-winded, but that's part of the good thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. When you were going to do the origin of Christmas, I didn't think you were literally going to start from, like, amoebas. Like... <laughs> To, from like the start of the universe I didn't that's think we were going to do that though. but <laughs> that's you man yeah yeah but that's not what Carl Sagan does that's, yeah. that's the whole point I would it. like to bring Gerg Sagan back I, I would at some point like to in some way bring back um, Agony Cunt as well yeah if you guys got any science questions or like, like if there's anything about science that you're like how the fuck does that work apart from magnets I'm not doing magnets no one understands magnets. They're stupid things, and no. Wasn't again. Wasn't you know, like Charlie Kelly. Just, it's uh, your favorite was, hobby. Magnets. Wasn't Gar- Wasn't Greg Sagan like something where I would ask you a dumb science question, you'd come back next week. Mm. And find yeah, because you asked him once, like, um, can you fight for helium? Yeah, and, stuff. and if you're on a desert island, could you survive by eating your own jizz or whatever it was? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, that was a terrible one. <laughs> what? Come on, Gerg Sagan. Yeah. So if you have any... We'll try and think of some to ask Gerg Sagan. But if you have any, like, ridiculous science questions or just, like, basic science questions that, you're, you, that you want to know about and you want to hear it through the mouth of Greg, then, um, yeah, please let us know. I think it's time that we bring some old features back, you know. I think we should. Just Maybe not fun. all of them, but some of them. All right, boys. Thank yeah. you very much. <clears throat> We're going to sign out now, Greg. Cheers, buddy. Oh. Uh, well, we love you very much. Peace in you know across the world and end world hunger and uh give every dog a short spine yes please <clears throat> they're, right. they're just hilarious they're, uh, i i think out of like any like a lot of people talk about you know like evidence for god and all that sort of stuff like oh the goodness is like an evidence of god. yeah that's dumb because it's cancer but then you see short spine dogs and you're like well god probably does exist because <laughs> only fucking a god would design such a perfect specimen of hilarity can you put up a picture of a dog with it? Yeah, I'll, I'll just fill the screen with pictures of short spine dogs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sick. Right now. Yeah, so the music's obviously playing at the moment. Make sure you like, if you're new here, which is not possible. No. Because uh, there's no way you stuck to the end. And if subscribe. you were new here, yeah, there's no way <laughs> you, you would not stuck, stuck yeah, here. Check yeah. to see if you're subscribed on your second, third, fourth, sixth account as well. That would that'd be sick. And uh, just write a little comment. Regardless, just anything. It just helps us with the algorithm. And if you want to donate again, there's a tip jar. Yeah. In the if, link you, below. if you would like a message read out on this podcast, then tip jar it up. Let's baby. go. All right, boys. Let's get the fuck out of this boiling room. Yeah, man. I yeah. like the window. Let's spray door. each other down. See you later, people. Oh, man, I think, Greg. I think the mic's the wrong way round, man.